Hi! It's the next lesson of the Express.js course. Today we will talk about WebSockets. If you are new in the channel, subscribe us and turn on notifications so you will see all of the videos immediately. You will get notification from YouTube. Of course, if you like the video, give us thumb up and let's go! Hi again! So, as I told before, today we will focus on the next lesson of the Express.js course. In this lesson, we will focus on WebSockets, how to use WebSockets with GraphQL to immediately inform the frontend something happened, and frontend will get a real-time notification from us something related to their profile happened on the backend. Let's go! As the first step, we need to install GraphQL subscriptions. We will use that for handle our subscriptions and WebSockets to have real-time notifications. Okay, it looks like it's already. Now we need to install HTTP module for that, so we will be able to create server for our subscriptions. Now we will install Apollo server. In this episode we will be using Apollo to handle it in the most clean way, I would say. Great. And now we need to uninstall Express GraphQL. We will not need it anymore. Now we need to replace build schema with GraphQL. If we have it replaced, we need to create type mutation. So we will be able to create GraphQL mutation. Mutation is something similar to API POST method. It's maybe not really like that, but mutation is used to change some data or create some items. Here we need to specify what's the name of the mutation and inside the mutation we will specify what should be passed as a param of the mutation, so which data GraphQL should accept. Now we will create subscri subscription type that we will use for create the data stream. means like new uh, expense created so it will return that expense as the first step in the resolvers we need to import pubsub so it's something that will help us to publish information to graphql something happened and if we subscribe this item we will have our subscription will be fired and we will get the information about that next we need to create function create expense that will return for now normal in normal backend you should create like connection with database and create that but here we will just return the data that we passed to show you how GraphQL with Apollo and WebSocket work. works.
here we need to change a bit in the resolver so now we will have the expenses added to queries so we will need to add query when we will call GraphQL Here we will create the mutation inside the resolver and mutation will call the create expense and will call the pub sub and publish the event. Here the expense is the name of the event and we will subscribe for the expense as well. And here we will specify subscription. Ok, it looks we are done with resolvers and now we can focus on server TS. Here we need to change a bit the dependencies and we will import a few more. We will not need it anymore. And here we need to create the Apollo server. Well, the playground is something like we used to test the GraphQL last time. Here it will be a bit newer, I would say. And I think it's more user-friendly than the previous one. Now we need to apply the middleware into the app. Here we will create the WebSocket server. And here we will list our for port 4000. And if everything is fine, we'll array it where console logs, everything works. Ok, it looks like we have everything done with coding. So now we can go into testing. It looks like everything works here and let's go into the playground. 
here I created two playgrounds so you will be able to see if we do some action in one of them the second one that is subscribing for the data it will be heated and it will be able to show you the information so now we are listening for the event and here we can call the action actually uh, I would say to go into the repository you have information about the repository code in the movie description and just copy paste all of that query if you don't want to retype it of course if you would like to train you can retype it here we added like uh, query variables here we added uh, the whole mutation that we will fire and let's test it here is no so here we have information about the mutation was done so everything works now you know how to use graphql with web sockets and apollo server how to do the subscriptions and you will be able to build the real-time api like for example chat congratulations congratulations now you know how to use web sockets with express.js and graphql and what is more important, you know how to use subscribe in uh, GraphQL. It's really important for you because with subscribe you will be able to create the real-time applications. They're really cool now and I would suggest you to go a bit into deeper with real-time applications. You can create a really, really impressive thing. And don't forget to follow my friends Anna because she created the React course that is frontend for the stuff that we are creating in this Experts.js course now. And if you are new in the channel, remember about subscription and turn on notifications so you will see the new videos immediately and don't forget to give us thumb up. See you in the next video. Bye!